Hey, this is Steve Good on the Coin Chat with Yuri Cataldo, and we're joined by Malcolm Cassell from Wax Token. Malcolm, welcome. It's a real pleasure. We've been speaking for, well, for quite a while on Telegram, so it's great to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great to meet you guys. Really cool. Great, welcome. So look, I mean, I followed you guys from the beginning of the ICO, and I, I, you guys had like the media, you know, you were like the media animals. You had, you know, article after article going and kept people informed, and it was really cool. And it was all announcement-based as well, which was a little different. But going from there to where you are now, I think, you know, this is just a quick kind of intro episode for people who haven't been following Wax closely. So yeah, you just start by giving us a little bit of a, a, a quick rundown of from, you know, pre-ICO to where you guys are now, just a kind of a, an update as to where you guys have gotten to. Yeah, sure. That was literally two years ago, uh, a year and a half since the ICO completed, two years since we announced, hey, this is what we're going to do with Wax. Uh, a lot's happened. So in that year and a half, you know, it was the largest ICO of Q4 2017. And the ICO window closed after that, as you, as you probably exactly. recall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have been heads down building. So since then, we launched the beta test net of our chain. We launched multiple dApps on it. Uh, we have launched lots of new products on those, uh, you know, within those dApps. And we're now doing over a million dollars of merchandise a day on the test net, about half a million transactions. So uh, yeah. it's one of the most used chains in the world by any metric. Uh, it's by far the most used chain for NFTs, in other words, like merchandise. Uh, and if you, you know, really look and say, hey, we're not without gambling and, and uh, without trading of actual like fungible tokens, it is like orders of magnitude beyond anything else out there. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of users on the chain and we're excited because the main net is actually coming out in June. So uh, it's 30th, really 30th exciting. Main net date, right? Yeah, June 30th is the date. So that's when there'll be a token upgrade. So everyone par participating in the token sale has an ERC-20, uh, which really doesn't do anything. It's really just the claim check for the main net. And that's when really things get exciting because then you can stake, you can vote, you can of course receive those block rewards. Uh, uh, block producers will be active and uh, the whole actual ecosystem of the delegated proof of stake will be live. Awesome. Uh, and so that's really exciting. Yeah, Plus we built oh, a ahead, bunch sorry. of microservices. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna ask, so when, you, when we go to mainnet for WAX, is it gonna still remain as a single token where you're staking the token to create the ecosystem or is there going to be a secondary fuel token or how is it going to be when you actually put it out? It's going to launch with, with one token. Now there is a possibility to have a second token or third token or fourth token. I mean, there's lots of things you could do ultimately later, but the design as was indicated in the white paper. And of course, as we've been working on as one token. Okay. So, so on sure. the, the aspect of the tokens, I mean, looking at the platform, I mean, I can see there's a lot of digital, trading that can go on. But as we talked about just before we started recording, there are cases where we would actually transmit real items rather than digital ones. But from what I'm seeing of the, of the platform, the whole idea is they're not really ERC-20 items. They're more like ERC-721 items. Is that a fair way of describing each item as being a, a non-fungible item that's being transferred to someone else for a, an amount of money? Well, think of Wax as the blockchain for uh, for digital goods. Okay, okay. it's okay. it's a platform. Okay, for digital goods, and so in that, it's not just the good that's moving back and forth. A platform means you need payment, you need authentication, you need authenticity. Uh, there's a whole bunch of services that go to making a marketplace functional. And okay. when you look at uh, something like Ethereum or EOS or Tron or these other uh, chains where people have tried to build a marketplace on top of the general purpose chain, it's, it doesn't really work that well. There's lots of steps involved. It's complicated. People don't use them. I mean, there's like very, very small numbers. This is a blockchain that's designed to be a platform for digital goods. And when, when, when I say that, think about all the things you would do if you go to eBay or all the things you do when you go to Amazon. Right. Think about right. all the steps, the account, the, the looking at the items, looking up the items, transferring the items, how do you deal with payment? All those aspects are actually built into the chain natively. And yes. so that means that anyone can build a marketplace 
you know, like Thanos. <laughs> so, so unlike being ERC721, <laughs> being that it's a, a wax token means that you're enabled to enable enabling the encapsulation of other coins because you don't care about the coin because you've got your own main net to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wax is sort of a, a master NFT and that it's a container that can hold anything. We've tokenized other other tokenized items. So oh, you can cool. of course trade Vigo, which is a a, a tokenized skin. Uh, which is a very successful DAP on our platform. And like, you know, Tether has tokenized US dollars, Viral, another DAP on our platform, has tokenized physical products. So you can buy like a $3,000 pair of sneakers and that item, that Wax NFT trades back and forth dozens and dozens of times. The shoe never changes. It sits in the warehouse and you have high res 3D photos. You can look at it, you can see inside you know, to make sure it's authentic, zoom in on the stitching, all that kind of stuff. Right. It's authenticated. But then I can trade the the token, essentially the wax NFT back and forth. And people are doing that to the tune of a million dollars a day. Can I just switch over wow. quickly to the, the block explorer? Because, uh, you know, I, you know, we know what we look at when we see block explorers. Yeah, <laughs> I just love yours. And I want to show people because it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fun because you can see the actual digital items being traded in real time. And they go, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, here's yeah. 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 I just to bring it up for people because when people think of block explorers, they're thinking, you know, they're thinking about, you know, um, Bitcoin or Ethereum and tracking item. And it's like, I'm looking at this. And I'm like looking at the trade activity and here's the transactions that are going on. And I'm looking at yeah. the yeah. Oh my God, this is, you know, this is so cool. And you've got bun. Yeah, those are things being unboxed. This and then what's cool. Blockchain Explorer. This is like a trade explorer. This is so cool. It is. I love it. it is. <laughs> yeah. And then you can drill down. So like, for example, if you click on the left and you go into that, um, into that item, uh, you know, you can now see the details of it. Um, that one doesn't have a 3D Explorer on it. We can, if we go back, we might be able to find one, but there are items where you can actually zoom in and see it in 3D moving around, and it's so cool. Okay, I haven't come across one of those yet. I've been playing around yeah, with Yeah, there that. it is. You'll click on the 3D viewer right there. Okay, cool. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, of course, that's a sticker, so it's not as exciting as a shoe or okay. uh, a, um, a, a Vigo skin. We can but you see a task for the unfriendly ghost anytime, though, right? <laughs> he, is, he does look pretty unfriendly. I think he maybe, maybe lost his private keys. Malcolm, before we go a little bit deeper in there, I'm I'm curious what so what made you want to get and and start this this company? What's your background in and and what are you hoping to to take it into the future? Yeah, yeah. So I actually jumped on board with a bunch of guys who really invented item trading. Uh, and they had a company called Opskins. And, you know, they said, hey, look, we, we need some more guys on the team. And, and that was when sort of the ICO thing was happening. Mm -hmm. And I had just finished uh, running another company. It was a, a big, big public company. And um, we were sitting around and they were like, you know, we've had this idea for Wax many, many years, but we really couldn't do it. It just wasn't time. And it, it appeared June 2017 was the time. And we saw like the plans for EOS, which meant that you could have a chain that was fast. That delegated proof of stake was like an implementation. It was like, wait, that could actually work. Half second block confirmation times would get us. And you can see on the block explorer, you just showed, you can see the transactions per second. That's all running on uh, a delegated proof of stake system. Uh, the second thing was you had the token sale mechanism, which meant that there was gonna be a lot of people who could support this thing. And having a lot of supporters, as you know, or something like a marketplace is fantastic. We have, you know, tens of thousands of people apply to be, you know, part of the token uh, offering. And so uh, it was like that moment. And so I, you know, we all looked around and was like, well, who's going to start writing the white paper? And of course, I drew the short straw. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it's a very good and then of course, you know, it's a, it's a team effort. Everybody jumped in, but somebody had to kind of like be responsible and make it happen. And you know, about two months later. We had a white paper. We announced what we were going to do. I hired up a team and, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, after we completed the sale, you know, we, most of our team was really options oriented. And we, we hired up quite a bit to uh, expand to support the WAX, you know, blockchain. So to become your own protocol and a platform for digital goods, 
there is a lot involved. I mean, we have 100 people on our team globally. Uh, and so it, we, we've been cranking, cranking. So all these dApps that have worked uh, fantastically, the, the tech team has been unbelievable. It's one of the best tech teams I've ever worked with in my, in my career. Where is your team dis distributed? Are they all in the States or are they around well, the world? Or? We're all over the world. We're, I, we're in every, every time zone that matters. Really? Uh, and then, um, you know, the, the, for, for me as a serial entrepreneur, this is like company number eight for me. And it's been, this is the evolution of, you know, both commerce, marketplaces, uh, video games, and now, of course, blockchain. It brings kind of all this thing together. Uh, our, our CEO was the co-founder of Heather you know, the first tokenized U.S. dollars. So the idea of tokenizing something in the real world is not a new idea. It's the idea of, it's the application to consumer products, which has just turned out to be, you know, fantastically uh, successful. People really dig it. That's really cool. God, I yeah. love it. So Yeah, so I'm a tech guy. You know, this is, like I said, you know, MIT and Stanford was like lots of uh, working on new ideas, but this is by far the most dynamic. I'm, I think, Wax is really paving the way for uh, the future of commerce. I mean, you guys have all seen, um, probably seen Ready Player One, right? Yeah. So when he goes into that store and he's yeah. looking around and he sees digital stuff, skins, you know, he sees 3D expressions of it and he chooses it. And then remember how he buys the suit and then a couple of days later the suit shows up at his little hovel? Yeah. That's what we're doing already today. You buy a pair of shoes, you see it digitally, you own it, it's yours. You right click, hit redeem, vroom, Get sent to you. Oh, wow. that's, that's happening today. And of course, 3D aspects, uh, like the Vigo items you saw, you can see the 3D. That's really cool. And then we, we, just, we just launched a beta uh, with a company called Terra Virtua. They have an AR viewer. So you can now look, you can uh, connect your Wax account to it, and you can see your items in augmented reality. So I can see it floating in the room. Oh, that's and, cool. uh, yeah, so that that's a closed beta. I think we'll have this now, like trying to touch it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we should have an open beta uh, before mainnet. Uh, no promises, but I think that's 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 possible, and then people will be able to use it and download it. It's on Android, and as long as you have the AR core, it's it looks amazing, which is on you know the new iPhones as well. So it looks yeah. it looks really cool. So ta talking about the fact that you're going to mainnet, are there? I mean, technically speaking, are there any challenges or any things that you guys are concerned with in terms of getting it to hit the date 30th of June or is it all pretty straightforward? Nothing is straightforward. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's technology, it's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, blockchain, and by the way, blockchain is very hard. It just makes things so complicated. But we, we've complicated it and maybe this is, this is really because our vision is so, so large and vast because we've built all these services that fit together and those things create a platform. So it's not just a blockchain. It's a blockchain based upon years of running marketplaces. So if you run a business and you do it at high volume, you've done over 150 million transactions on Opskin, you know exactly what you need to make it work. Yeah. Usually through lots of mistakes and trial and error. So we took that and said, okay, we're designing a blockchain that can be a platform. So that's really what's made it complicated. You know, to be, to be perfectly honest, Steve, we've, we've build all the pieces that fit together. And when you go through our blog, you'll see, wow, we have an account system. We have an all access system. We have an express trade system. Uh, of course, there's the blockchain itself. There's the marketplace. Uh, every single aspect has like all these services included in it. Yeah. That's what makes this yeah, I difficult. Wonder, I mean, there's no doubt the yeah. website is slick and it's really easy to navigate and use. So here, here's, the, here's the question I think many people would want to know about if they're in the gaming space or they're playing you know, Magic the Gathering or they want to trade digital items. Where do they go to get started? What's, what's your recommendation for them to get started as people that want to buy or sell items? Yeah, so the easiest place is you know, Wax.io is the entry point right, to get your account. The biggest marketplace today is opskins.com. We've designed Wax to enable other folks, thousands ultimately, to have their own opskins.com. So let's say you guys have a following, you have a million followers, and on CoinChat, you're like, hey, look, we've we we assembled a bunch of cool stuff around crypto, crypto t-shirts, uh, merch, like a beautiful piece of art, etc. We're having our own digital store. You then point people to that digital store and say, hey, you can get any of the stuff you can have as a collectible and actually you don't have to hold it. You can trade it back and forth with people. You could swap it. And of course, you can give things out as a promotional mechanism. So the way most people actually get their first touch 
to Opskins and, and Wax ultimately is through a YouTube or Twitch influencer because they're giving out a digital item. And then they realize, oh my gosh, this is possible. And then they end up buying stuff. And then they're like, hey, I want to trade this. I'd like to swap this or I'd like to sell it. And right, or, or they unbox something, right? So they open up a, a loot box and they say, oh my gosh, this is cool. And they want to trade it with somebody. Yeah. So the, the way most people acquire it is through third party sites. There's now hundreds of third party sites who do, you know, all these different kinds of games. And, and inside video games as well, if you receive one where you can actually hold on to it and you own it, you can then take it over to Wax and then, you know, trade it. So there's like, God, hundreds of blockchain based games where the whole ethos is, hey, you get to own those items. Uh, there's a big one coming. We're really excited about um, the folks from Mythical Games. Uh, that I think that's going to be a massive, you know, blockchain or NFT title. Uh, and their whole ethos is, hey, we want you to own those items, to be able to take them out. So, like in Second Life today, you know, you you create items and trade them. This is like the whole next generation of that. that so that's crazy. kind of where most people acquire them, and then they use Opskins as a marketplace to actually do the transactions. So I'm going to give you a challenge, Malcolm. <laughs> before we wrap up because i know that you need to go the challenge is going to be you need to help us figure out what it is that's digitally going to be given out on our show on the next episode with you and we'll do it together to absolutely get absolutely what's going on but i don't know what the digital yeah. item would be so we're gonna well you know again we've tokenized consumer items so you could say hey we're going to give out a 50 dollars amazon gift card you know we're going to give out and that's essentially a wax nft you mm -hmm. send it to somebody with one click and it's theirs they own it. They have it, and they can redeem it if they want. They create or they can a real, uh, a real Amazon gift card, but then we real Amazon gift card. Yeah. We sell Fortnite, you know, credits today. You can buy you, like anything you can imagine. Uh, if it's a like, we did a big promotion with Fnatic, one of the biggest esports teams, and they gave away and sold a lot. Um, but they gave away some, and they sold the rest. Uh, sneakers, uh, hoodies, uh, keyboards. Uh, physical stickers, these cool holographic stickers that, that they produce, you know, well, often. Items as well, because, I mean, hoodies and sneakers, of course, you'd want to receive the real items, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So All physical. You, just so very quickly, so how do you ver guarantee or verify the transaction between the buyer and the seller to make sure that the item is received? So remember, the only thing that's happening in, between a buyer and a seller is the movement of that token. So just like you can confirm I sent you okay. an NFT or a Bitcoin, you, right. you see it, it's confirmed, it's yours. But it's unredeemed. The moment it's redeemed, it gets removed from the, the digital world because it's no longer digital. Uh, okay. right. The moment you hit redeem, that thing blows up metaphorically <laughs> and then the thing gets sent to you, right? And it's no longer available. On the Block Explorer, it's like, boom, no longer available. It's, it's redeemed. Okay, really interesting. Cool. Anything very else cool. from That's you, Yuri? Really I know, I, Malcolm, I, we're very conscious that we want to yeah. do this limited so you can go on to your next important meeting. <laughs> no, this, is, this has been great. Big announcement's yeah. coming. Yeah, this, Good. Is, well, this has been gonna, fantastic. Yeah. We, will, we will put the links down below. And of course, if you want to just tell everyone the links for the Spotify and Apple and Alexa listeners, Malcolm, that would be great. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so the easiest way to see what we're up to is wax.io, W-A-X.io. Uh, read the blog, uh, join the social community. You'll see what we're up to. Uh, and, you know, be sure to sign up. The token upgrade is June 30th. So that's a really uh, good time, like prior to that, to get involved because there's so many amazing things happening around then. Lots of giveaways, lots of prizes. So it's, it's, it's going to be exciting in the next, you know, 45, 60 days. Absolutely. Well, Wonderful. that's great. So we'll, we'll, we'll bring you back after Mainnet's done and you can take a breather and, if you've got any announcements to uh, to make, then we're we're all ears for the next wave of what's coming. Yeah, yeah, we would love to. Love, thanks, thanks so much for your time today. Well, thank you, Great. Malcolm. Thank you, Malcolm. From Wax, it's been a real pleasure having you. Um, Great. Well, thank thanks you. everybody for listening, watching. Give us a subscribe, like, and hit that bell. And we'll always be back with more content as always. To the moon. Until See next. you guys. Thanks. Bye bye.